Welcome to your TGC News Update, I'm Ben Schwartz. Monday night's City Council meeting went smooth as usual. The night began with a public hearing to give residents a chance to voice their opinion on the City's application for a Community Development Block Grant. Council then moved into its regular session. Mayor Patterson addressed the room with reports and communications, notably mentioning pothole repairs to happen this week on West State Street, Mill Street, and Stimson Avenue, among others. Ordinances for third reading were brought up next including two ordinances being approved to allow the blocking of part of Court Street, as well as vendors being allowed to set up on August 4th for Bounty on the Bricks. Ordinance 0-24-28 was also approved, allowing the Service Safety Director to spend $196,000 on much-needed repairs to Arts West. Council then went into second and first readings until ending with a one-reading resolution to oppose the trapping and killing of bobcats. The resolution was approved by Council. Now let's go to Zach Shrivers with an APRD update. Despite the weather this week, spring has arrived, and with it, the Arts, Parks, and Recreation Department has released their spring brochure. In the brochure, you can learn about new activities and classes that are being offered this spring at the Community Center. Martial arts classes, including adult karate, beginner's taekwondo, family taekwondo, and tai chi are all taking sign-ups. Other fitness programs are being offered outside of martial arts, too, such as yoga and zumba. For an intense workout, you can sign up for boot camp, which increases challenges for your whole body early in the morning. Fencing is offered to beginning and experienced students. However, to join the advanced class, students must have fenced for at least two sessions. If you're a member of the community center, you will get a discount on most classes and programs that you sign up for. For more information on the spring schedule and the variety of programs being offered, you can visit the city's website at ci.athens.oh.us where you can find the APRD spring brochure in its full. Thanks, Zach. Today the sun is shining on Athens, but the temperatures are still a bit chilly, with a high of 46 and a low of just 24 degrees. Tomorrow is looking pretty much the same temperature-wise, but with some rain in the afternoon. Sunday is once again in the 40s with a low in the 20s, but no rain at least. Monday is set to warm up a bit with a high of 53 degrees and a low of 34. Tuesday's high will be the same, but with a nicer low of 45 degrees, however we should expect some rain in the morning. Wednesday is looking to warm up even more though. We're set to have a high of 60 and a low of 47, but with some rain. Thursday is looking pretty similar, but a bit cooler on the low end with a low of just 38 degrees. Now let's head back to Zach with some fest season legal and safety reminders. With fest season coming up, the City of Athens would like to remind you of how to stay safe during local festivals. First off, clean up around your property so that anything that could be used as a projectile doesn't become a projectile. You should also move any indoor furniture, such as couches, inside so that they do not become a fire safety hazard. Please don't hesitate to ask belligerent or aggressive guests to leave, and if they give you any trouble, you can call the Athens Police Department if needed. Please allow your guests to use your restroom and make sure that anyone who is consuming alcohol is 21 years of age or older. Another way to ensure everyone's safety is to not allow anything to be thrown beyond the bounds of your property, including things like footballs or frisbees. I'm Zach Shrivers with TGC wishing you a safe fest season. Hello and welcome to the Government Channel. I'm Zach Shrivers here with some tips on how to enjoy fest season legally. First of all, open glass beer or liquor containers will be prohibited in predetermined glass-free areas. Outdoor fires are strictly prohibited within city limits, which means anything from small campfires to large bonfires are absolutely not allowed. So please do not start any. And on that note, please check that your smoke detectors and fire extinguishers are fully functioning before you start festing. Stages are allowed, but you need to contact the Code Enforcement Office at 740-592-3306 to verify that your stage will not be obstructing emergency egress. It should also be noted that porta johns are allowed on your property, but they must remain in your backyard and you are responsible for the immediate cleanup if one is tipped over. Remember that temporary barriers such as fences or tent stakes are also prohibited. Along with those temporary barriers, front yard parking is also prohibited. As a general reminder, open container laws are still in effect and even though it is fest season, streets remain open to motor vehicles so please stay out of the way of them. Violators can and will be arrested for jaywalking. Please respect the orders of Athens police officers as they have a right to shut down a party if they discover public indecency, illegal use of a controlled substance, destruction of property without the property owner's consent, unlawful pedestrian or vehicular traffic, or any threatening actions. 
Also, please keep the noise level to an acceptable level at all times and turn off music by midnight on the weekends. Stay safe and within the law this best season. I'm Zach Shrivers, wishing you the best.